Hello and welcome to this new lesson in which I'll show you how you can make the auto routing work better for you. Now let's start by getting rid of these green items. This means that these items are placed in a wrong way. So let's start by moving these items a little bit here and there until we reach a point. For sure, if you want to view item, uh, press shift plus S to view different, uh, as you can see here, you can simply drag and drop these items. You can rotate it using the space bar and move this here. As you can see, you must move it until you find a place. Let's see if we can move it to the Okay, now let's move this item and let's take a quick look at this area. We want to move this a little bit away and we can drag this one here. So you must make sure that None of these items uh, is in green color. So let's bring this crystal. It must be here. Okay. Let me drag it again. And place it here. Again, this key is making problems for us. So let's drag this back here now we only have this key you must move items in such a way that you won't have any green items as you can see here now if we went back and pressed t you can get a 3d view of these items as you can see here we have the switch the connectors uh, the ic and the crystal at the bottom we have this ic the regulator and the rest of the items now we can move on with the auto routing press one on the keyboard then press two to view this now uh, first thing is adding layers we need to go right click on this layer area layer stack manager and Let's add, uh, okay, we already added single layer top and single layer bottom. We need to add an internal plan, as you can see here, and rename it to ground, G and D. Add another one, internal, and name it VCC. So move it down and move the ground down. Now we have a, have a ground layer and a VCC layer. This will make the auto routing away much easier. Select the ground layer from here, then double click here on any black area. And since we are selecting the ground, we need to point it to the ground. So G and D. The VCC is the green one. We need to do the same. We need to make it point for the point 0.5 volts then click OK. OK, now we have these two layers and we have the single layer bottom and single layer top. The last thing, go to the mechanical three, the last thing is changing the bad size uh, and the via size. So go here on the line drawing area, start drawing a line. We want to complete it. When, when you see this line, press tab. As you can see here, we have a window. In this window, we need to define the whole size and the diameter. We also need to change uh, these two rules. As you can see, we have a width rule. We need to change this to eight or seven, depending on your needs. On all layers. And the preferred size is seven milli. Then press OK. 
we need to edit this via and we need to add these uh, specifications the whole size must be 10 milli you can change it depending on your manufacturer and this one make it 25 milli 25 and 25 you can even make it 20 if you wish depending on the manufacturing equipment that you have then simply press ok that's it these are the little things that you need to do then close this window press escape here to finish drawing the line okay let me zoom out okay let's go back to see the probabilities window okay press control s a command Okay, copy of the PCB. Now press the stop button as I mentioned earlier. After pressing escape, press the right mouse button twice to remove this routing line. Now what you need to do is simply go here, root, auto root, then press all. As you can see, we don't have any errors and everything is going fine. So start routing. Here you'll see that uh, it will start routing starting from 0 to 57 I'll show you how the routing will be done okay now the design file of the previous project has a little problems uh, that's why that routing uh, didn't work so let's uh, enhance this design and apply auto routing to it as I mentioned in the previous design, you just need to remove the green spaces or the green area. As you can see. Let's move these items. Okay. Now we have this one. The main IC. We need to move this so that we can press this IC here. Okay, if we press Shift S, we can see that um, another Shift S and another Shift S. We can see that moving this item. If we moved it to the back of the design, it will cause more problems. Now, what we need to do is getting this one here. Okay. Let me move all of these items. This is good because this will help us uh, learn how to remove errors from our design. So let's move these items. Let's place this one here. Okay. Now that's it. After this we can move this one here. And let's drag these items one at a time. To make sure that we have no errors and this item okay now let's move this this and these items okay one here, another one down there. And another one down here. 
and we have these two arrays let's add them here okay now again we have this key now let's uh, try auto routing even though that we have this item in green let's try the auto routing thing so root auto root all let's root all to see as you can see 16 of 557 and counting 24 26 28 29 we might have one or two unrooted lines because we have this in green uh, if i rearranged all of these items i can get it done but for me i recommend that you go to the official arduino website and okay let me go here arduino nano as you can see 36 37 uh, once you go to the official arduino website i'm waiting for it to open arduino.cc arduino nano you can get a clear view for the top and the bottom layers so you can arrange your items on the pcb depending on these uh, arrangements the crystal the atmega the connectors and here we have leds and a switch you can get a clear view of the top and bottom of this IC so that you can arrange your items accordingly it will be really easy for you so but for uh, the purpose of this lesson I'll just go with these to see how things will work for you but I don't recommend following my uh, arrangement because i was arranging these items so that i can remove the green uh, color from each of them so it was a randomly arranged uh, process just go with this one it's the best one um, and arrange them according to this these are on the top and on the bottom you have the ic and other text specifications um, let's go back 47 of uh, 57 as you can see 49 and 48 it's trying different paths but as i mentioned earlier it won't uh, work out for us because we are arranging these items in the wrong way okay now it's it's proceeding 49 of uh, 57 now 50 and it's moving on 52 i think that will reach 55 or 56 before it stops in the next lesson i'll arrange these items in the right order to show you how the auto routing process can go away much faster and how can uh, you remove these green uh, items a green color from these items which means that they are connected in a wrong way and that they will cause design errors but for now we'll just warm up this lesson with the auto routing function okay 54 not a very bad result 
considering that we arranged these items in a random way. Okay, now as you can see, it rooted 96% uh, of the board. So we are now have two lines that need to be rooted uh, 55 of 57, 56. So 96%. As you can see, the software is trying every possible combination to make the auto routing go faster. Okay, I think that will go with 55 or 56 at most. Again, in the next lesson, I'll show you how to correct these items depending on this design here. And have the auto routing function works correctly for, for you. So, okay, now let's... Stop the auto routing and finish this lesson. It routed 55 out of 57, even though that we have all of these items wrongly uh, arranged. But that's it for this lesson. This is how you can make your auto routing better by moving few items, by defining four layers top and bottom layers, ground and VCC layers, and by changing the uh, via size and the root. Uh, with that's it uh, if you have any question please ask in the Q&A board happy learning